Thank you very much, Susan. And now we'll turn to Yolanda Vallejo from the National Institute of Dental and Cranial Facial Research. So good afternoon and thank you for the opportunity to talk about NIDCI's, NIDCR's areas of interest. So NIDCR is committed to answering scientific questions about this novel coronavirus, its manifestation and long-term consequences. And we're working closely with other NIH institutes and centers to prioritize the critical research needed in the fight against COVID-19. Our mission at NIDCR is to improve dental and oral and craniofacial health. And since the mucosa of the oral cavity, such as tongue, buccal, and gingival tissues may be a potentially high risk route of infection, we've been actively engaged in NIH's COVID-19 response through participation with NIH's Rapid Acceleration of Diagnostics Initiative, better known as RADx rad aimed at speeding innovation in the development, commercialization, and implementation of technologies for COVID-19 testing and surveillance, as well as rad up, RADx up efforts focused on underserved communities. Uh, and NIDCR has also had specific funding opportunity announcements that have funded research on a variety of topics, such as examining SARS-CoV-2 and the oral microbiome to diminish transmission or severity of COVID-19, identification of genetic risk and protective factors associated with COVID-19, developing point of care devices for rapid sensitive detection of SARS-CoV-2 from saliva, and quantifying and reducing aerosol generation in dental settings. And we've also been uh, seeking an understanding of how the pandemic has affected access to dental health care and social services among young children and their families in low-income urban communities to reduce oral health disparities and identify intervention needs. Uh, we also are participating on two currently open funding opportunity announcements shown on the slide. One focused on digital healthcare interventions to address secondary health effects related to social, behavioral, and economic impacts of COVID-19, as well as an administrative supplement for research on COVID-19 in individuals with Down syndrome. And finally, looking forward, we have a concept clearance in place for a future initiative that spans basic to implementation research that will encourage research that informs prevention, detection, diagnosis, and treatment of COVID-19 and COVID-19 related illnesses. It will also stimulate innovations in health surveillance and care delivery during the pandemic. Uh, I encourage you to visit our website for more information and reach out to our program directors to discuss potential research ideas. Thank you.